thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Hello on this Tuesday of Holy Week. My name is Scott Elschultz, and welcome to Cantate Domino, Uniting in Song in a Time of Solitude. Today, I would like to discuss briefly Psalm 118, which is our responsorial psalm for this Sunday, Easter Sunday. And like all of our psalms, it has a refrain, an antiphon, a congregational refrain that we would have sung. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. It's a short, simple refrain that I wrote for uh, organ, brass, and choir that we would have sung. But of course, we are not gathering this Sunday on Easter Sunday. Our churches will be empty due to the coronavirus pandemic. But just as Mary Magdala did when she was confronted with an empty tomb, we can proclaim the resurrected Christ. We can indeed rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Now, when you hear the words, this is the day the Lord has made, I would bet that some tune comes to mind for you. Likely not the tune I, I had uh, sung, the one that I had written, but I'm, I am sure that many of you can think of a tune. For me, there was a, a little Sunday school song we used to sing when I was a child. It would start like this. This is the day, a group would repeat, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. It was this call and response from one side of the Sunday school room to the other side of the Sunday school room. And every time uh, we, we come closer to Easter Sunday and I look at the setting of the psalm, that tune comes to my mind and I can't help but smile. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Why the Lord has this been done? It is wonderful in our eyes. Now, my personal favorite setting of this psalm is the ancient Gregorian chant, Hic Dies, that has been sung for centuries. And it's called the Gradual Psalm. Today we have the responsorial psalm, but in the old rite of the Catholic Mass, the gradual psalm uh, took place at the, same, at the same point. And gradual psalms, in the Gregorian chant repertory, gradual psalms are among the most complicated of all the psalms. And especially on Easter Sunday, it is incredibly florid, very involved, quite difficult. It's not something that a congregation would do. In fact, it has inspired many composers uh, in their own choral and organ works to, ba to base their music on this tone. And I would like to end with my singing of the Gregorian uh, uh, Psalm 118, Hec Dies. <laughs> Quam fecit Dominus Let us rejoice and be glad. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Saint Cecilia, pray for us that we may make music in our hearts to God and manifest our love for God in our daily deeds.